हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन और परम्यूटेशन ऑन कोर्ट शेप सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट स्टार्ट वी आर गिवन एन एंटीजर एन फाइंड अ परम्यूटेशन ऑफ साइज एन सच डैट ए आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू ए आई माइनस वन और ए आई माइनस टू फॉर ऑल आई बिलोंग्स टू थ्री टू एन वेयर दिस डिनोट द बिट वाइज और ऑपरेशन it is guaranteed that such permutation always exists if multiple such permutations exist you may print any note that permutation of size n consists of all integers 1 to n exactly once and we have input as t and n the size of the permutation we need to output n space separated integers denoting the permutation satisfying the conditions and it is guaranteed that such permutation always exists If multiple such permutations exist, you may print any. So, for the first test case, as you can see, we have length of three. So we have basically one, two, three. So in case of one, two, three, you need to have a permutation such that a of i is not equal to a of i minus one or a of i minus two. Now, if you see here, if I put i ranges from three to n, and we have maximum i as three, so here a three is not equal to a two. Or even they should satisfy. Now, if you take a two and a one, that is two and one. So, if you take or of two and one, so two is written as one zero, and one is written as zero one. So, the output would come as three. Now, hence. This permutation is not correct. Now, if you take one, three, two, so we take one and three. The or of one and three is three, which is not equal to two. Hence, this permutation is correct. Now, in case of four, we have one, two, four, three. So here we can check for a three and a four. So for a three, we will check a one and a two. So one and two or is two, no issues. Next two and four or two and four or will be four, no issue. It is not equal to three. That's it. So again we check for five. For five also. This permutation will exist. Now, not only this, other permutations may also exist for this. Suppose if I take permutation of instead of one, three, two, I am taking three, two, one. So when I check three and two, the or of three and two is three. If I take suppose four three two one for the second one, then here also or of four and three is four not equal to two for one or of three and two is three which is not equal to one. So here a basic logic is used that if you take or of two numbers. Which are greater than your a of i, then what happens? The number would be itself greater. Which means if I take or of three and two, so how do I write three? Three is this, and we have two as this. I am writing in binary notation. So when we check. Or of this is one. Or of this is one. So we get three as our answer. 
so uh, when we take 4 and 3 the similar way so 4 is 1 0 0 3 is 1 1 and when we take the or it will come out to be triple 1 which is obviously greater than 2 so when we take the or of maximum numbers the output would be greater than the other minimum number or less number than it hence it this problem has a direct solution so what is the direct solution here just you can write the list suppose i have one two three and i will reverse this list so it will be changed to three two one and three to one would be my output like this for this i have four three two one and for this five four three two one so basically what i am doing i am taking the list of one to n and reversing it and that will be my output you can check this and perform the or operations so you understand it in a more better way so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching